Hey, this is Gretchen from the Avondale Public Library and welcome to More to Explore. This week we are going to be making walking paper horses. But before we start, I wanted to remind you about our fun activity next week that's going to be happening on Friday, July 23rd at 10 a.m. We are going to be watching Zootopia in the city council chambers at City Hall, which is right across from the Civic Center Library. In order to attend, please send an email to email library at avondaleaz.gov or stop in to register. This is a family event, so make sure you include how many people will be attending. And parents do need to stay with their kids. It's not a drop-off event. But we are looking forward to seeing you in person next Friday, so be sure to register. The supplies you're going to need today are a pencil, a ruler, and then in your kit is a paper horses diagram that shows how long each section is that you're going to be measuring, so you can use this for guidelines, and then you will also have paper to make horses. And I included extra paper, so if someone else in your family wants to make one too, and that way you can race your horses. You also need a pair of scissors for this. So with your ruler, you need the centimeter side, and you are going to mark off on the long part of your paper every five centimeters. So I need to make sure I have my ruler lined up with the edge. And then I'm going to mark at 5, 10, and then 15, okay? I'm going to turn my paper now and put my ruler at the edge again along where my little marks are. And this time I'm going to do 1.5, 3, and 4.5 centimeters, okay? So make sure it's centimeters, not inches. So I have that. So I'm also going to measure my 1.5 centimeters down on this side too. So I'm lining it up at the edge and then we go 1.5, 3, and 4.5. So I'm going to connect my lines. So I need to make my ruler straight as possible and draw my line all the way across, okay? I'm going to use this cut edge and this, oop, this one right here. So these two cut edges, I don't need to draw those since they're already there. But I am going to draw a line from the end of my line I just drew and I'm gonna make it perpendicular. So I'm gonna make a right angle and make it perpendicular to my original line. Okay, so I have this segment now. So I have my marks where I did five centimeters, five, five, okay. So at the five centimeters, I'm going to draw a line from the top to the bottom. Okay, and then another one that's five centimeters over Okay, so now you have three boxes, okay? In the outer two boxes, you are going to connect the line on the end to the one towards the middle, but you don't need to draw them all the way across because we don't need lines in the middle. If it's easier for you to do that and then erase the lines in the middle part, that is totally fine. So, okay. Let me make sure I have this right. So this is five centimeters. These are each five centimeters. Okay, and then each of these is 1.5. All right, I know this is upside down for you, sorry. But I just wanted to show you and remind you what the measurements were. So I'm just gonna connect these two parallel lines with a perpendicular line. And I only need to draw two lines because, again, my edge is my last section. Okay, and then 
I'm gonna line, a, line it up all the way across so I make sure um, that they're even because what I'm drawing right now is going to become the legs for my horse. And so I want those to be even. I'm not the best at being super accurate, but I'm doing my best because I want these to turn out well. And actually my paper moved when I did that. So I'm gonna do this one over. Because I really want it, I want it to work well. Um, so you have to have these measurements. You can't just make your horse any size in order for it to be able to walk on its own. So there we go. And then my last part is to make little tiny triangles. And so those are gonna be like super small. So it's going to be, let's see if I can show you. These are going to be 0.3 centimeters. So one, two, three. I'm using these tiny little dashes on my ruler. And I'm gonna measure that from the end, from my lines. So one, two, three. Let's see if I can get that right there. And then I've got one, two, three. And this one I can either turn my paper or I can line up the 0.3 centimeters with the edge of my paper and draw my mark at the zero. Okay, now that I have those drawn, the little dots drawn, I'm going to connect my the mark I just made to the corner up here to make a little tiny triangle because that triangle is going to be something I cut out. So when I line up my ruler, I need to make sure that I have the angle right so that I'm meeting this corner as well as the mark that I made. Okay, so I've got one. And then do another one. Okay. That one's a little bit off, so when I go to cut, I might fix that one. And then I've got this one. All right, and I have one more. And these are going to be the hooves of the horse, but these help the horse to be able to walk because I tried this without cutting the little triangles out, and it didn't work. So. Now your paper should look like this, where you have the five centimeters and the 1.5 and then the tiny little triangles. Now I'm just going to cut around the outside of my diagram. And you don't need to write the measurements on, on here, it's just to help me show you what to do. So just cutting this. And then I'm also going to cut off the tiny little triangles that I drew, which will help our horse to walk. Okay, perfect. Now that I have the ends cut off, I'm going to cut along these lines. So I don't wanna cut all the way through the middle. I'm just going to cut along the lines and and stop at the square in the middle. Now I'm going to take the two outside pieces, and these are the legs, and I'm going to fold them on the line of the middle square of the, for the body. I've got, my, I've got two legs so far, and then I'm going to bend these ones. Perfect, I've got my legs. So right now I have a horse with some legs and then I'm gonna bend the head and the tail parts the opposite way so that they stick straight up. Okay, you can decide which one is the head and which one is the tail. For the head, you can bend it part way down to make a face. Okay, so I bent that part way down. And with the tail, you can roll it with your pencil to make the tail 
hang down a little bit. Okay. And you can make it you can make it as curly as you want it. Then the head, if you'd like, I saw this on the tutorial, I'm going to make some ears. So I have to make the face first, so I need to cut out, to make the face I'm gonna cut triangles. And you can be more precise than I am and measure so it's exactly the same on each side. But the reason why I did that is so I can cut my ears, so I'm gonna Cut not all the way through, just partially cutting. So I'm going to make ears. Actually, you do. Okay. So cut all the way. Don't cut them off, but cut to the to the line. Oh, see, I almost cut off the head. We got to be careful with the cutting. My poor horse, like his face is barely on so you gotta, I definitely cut a little bit too much for him um, but then you can use a sharpie and color eyes and a nose you can decorate your horse because especially if you're going to race against someone else you want your horse to look a little bit different use a slanted surface to walk your horse on I use books with paper on top play around until it's at the right angle for your horse to walk you may need to fix their hooves a little bit so they can walk easier. Thanks for watching today and be sure to stay tuned for the secret code for your game board. The answer to last week's brain teaser is the horse's name is Friday. This week's brain teaser is what wears a coat in the winter, but pants in the summer? Sergeant Reckless by Patricia McCormick and Iacopo Bruno is the true story of a brave horse who became a hero during the Korean War. Reckless was a little horse who was found by some U.S. Marines serving in Korea. Reckless became a part of their unit and quickly learned to carry supplies and protected the soldiers. She also was well known for her huge appetite and the variety of things she ate, like eggs, coffee, and Coca-Cola. Learn about the true horse that made a big difference to a bunch of Marines in Korea in Sergeant Reckless. The War That Saved My Life by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley is one of my favorite chapter books for older readers. Set during England in World War II, Ada and her little brother Jamie live with their horrible mother in a small apartment. Ada has a club foot which causes her mom to lock her inside all day and both children live in constant fear of their mother's anger. When the war starts, children are sent from London to smaller towns to be protected from possible bombings. Although her mother forbids her to go, Ada joins Jamie and the other kids who are sent to Kent. Unfortunately, there is no one who wants to take in the pair, so they are forced to live with Susan, a middle-aged single woman who lives alone on her farm. A whole new world is open to Ada, who has never seen the most common things, like grass or tablecloths, but with the good comes the bad. Read more about Ada and her journey in The War That Saved My Life by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley. Thank you for participating in this Tales and Tales summer reading program activity. If you have not created an account, be sure to go to Maricopa County Reads dot org or visit the library to register. Congratulations! You've just won 25 points. Be sure to go online and enter the secret code HORSES, H-O-R-S-E-S, -E 